Hey fellow Aquas, how y'all doing? Welcome. We are going to be taking a look at what y'all have to look forward to in the month of October, aka your good news. What is the good news? I ask you for the month of October, just a little bit of sugar for y'all. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and looking forward to this month as much as I am. Absolutely my favorite time of the year. Uh, let's go ahead and get an animal energy for y'all for the month of October for what y'all is looking forward to. What's the good news? What's going on? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. So beautiful dragonfly energy here. It's air energy, which is us. You know, you know, you know, you know. I love it. When we get an animal that is our same element because it's always very auspicious. So dragonfly energy equates to the sword of truth the Ace of Swords in the Tarot, which speaks of big realizations. It also speaks of writing, right? The The Ace of Swords represents writers or people who communicate for a living or communicate just really, really well. Also speaks of dream time, right? Because it, it's that subconscious state, right? When we're dreaming that kind of opens us up to inner truths or aspects of ourselves that want to come to light, right? So dragonfly energy it's the ace of swords big realizations big aha moments but also this is a sign that you very much have some very interesting and informative and intuitively governed dreams to look forward to in the month of october which just makes all the sense in the world because october the veil is thinner and we have a more direct line to that other side to our subconscious to the collective psyche it's really really cool that i ew, i'm so obsessed that this is coming up for October because it's another way of saying like information station what do you have to look forward to in October information <laughs> clear concise brilliant I also feel like there's an energy of having really brilliant ideas and aha moments this month which is so good also got the six of wands are you serious this is victory this is success this is public recognition right remember the wands rule the realm of the actions that we do or don't take but it's always about something that we are passionate about right so this is having victory around a project, a relationship, an aspect of ourselves, right? This is, I absolutely love this key. It might be, at least in my top three, a uh, favorite minor arcanas because there's an aspect here of, yes, I did it. And it's that feeling of you've come through the five of wands of, of that kind of struggle and conflict and push and pull and tension to, whoo, I've surmounted it. In the traditional tarot, this is someone riding a horse with that garland on their head and, and the crowd's like, yeah. That's amazing. And they're throwing flowers and all of that good stuff. And then here we have the, the six of wands to comment on the dragonfly. I am telling you, write down your dreams <laughs> before they leave your head. These ideas that you have, these moments of inspiration, these aha moments, they're golden. Your goal, there you have a direct line to your inner creative genius this month. It's going to be coming in loud and clear. So it feels like there's this really big opportunity within this month to make some major headway. And I'm getting with this beat energy here too, especially for those of you who are creative or working on something that involves your creativity or your ingenuity, something around that, uh, bringing something to life, right? This is especially for you. Because the B energy equates to like a three of pentacles, which speaks of the work that you do, right? It's the artisan energy, the work that you do that only you can do in the way that you do it. So it's about brilliance around your unique self and what you bring to the table and having that sense of victory, achievement, accomplishment in a way that other people notice. This is, this, this is in the public eye. This is seen by others. This is an internal victory that leads to an external, you know, um, a change that others can actually see. It's an external victory that gives you all the inside good feels it's absolutely brilliant and then for your oracle you have love are you serious i you know what i'm getting with this is that creative muse from greek mythology where it's it's that aspect of like wow the muse is working with me you are gonna have some brilliant ideas really big downloads and some really true feel goods this month i'm obsessed with this for you aquarius you know love this this is all is she playing a flute or like a mouth harp is a mouth harp a thing? I swear to God, it looks like a mouth harp. Please let me know in the comments what that is. Because I don't know. It looks like a mouth harp. With this dove. So the dove represents spirit and love. Yes. But but it's that kind of love of 
yourself and others for sure. But it's also that love of that. This is like a beeline to that connection. It's that direct connection to your higher self, your creative self, the source energy. You have a direct line to any inspiration and information you may need in the month of October, even more than you ever could have asked for. This is amazing. It's like you are really tapped in and tuned in and you got all the information coming to and through. And I'm really here for it. It's really, 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 really good. Um, I, I'm obsessed with this for you guys. I Again, keep that notepad handy to write down those dreams. Or even if you're out and inspiration hits you suddenly, you're, you're going to want to write that down or or hold it in your mind because it's it's golden. It's absolutely golden. So right on, Aquarius. I'm sending you so many blessings for the month of October. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. And most of all, and as always, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.